So ISIS is claiming responsibility for sending out two Islamic extremists to go with enough munitions and assault rifles to kill every single person at a convention, uh, a Draw Muhammad convention, art exhibit, contest, whatever the hell it was, down in Texas. And I gotta admit, this is one of the few times that when this happened, I was like, well, <laughs> there's no way ISIS is going to claim responsibility for this one because this looked like a complete joke. A joke in that you had two men upset for whatever reason at the world, whatever stick they got up their ass, whatever. They decided to take it upon themselves to arm themselves and like I said, take enough muni munitions to kill every single person at some Draw Muhammad contest exhibit, whatever. And they got shot and killed before they even got into the exhibit by a traffic cop with a pistol. The two guys with assault rifles and enough munitions to kill hundreds of people got stopped by one traffic cop with a pistol that shot and killed them. Might I add, they were shooting first and they were gunning down a security outpost that had an unarmed security guard in it. He was just probably making like $12 an hour or whatever. And anyways, they opened fire on him and a traffic cop was there, opened fire on them and killed both of these brave ISIS brothers. Um, why would ISIS claim responsibility for this? Like that just looks like completely embarrassing if you ordered an attack like this and you're completely outgunned excuse me you yourselves are completely outgunning uh, one traffic cop with a pistol and you both end up dead and ISIS is bragging about this saying that yes we we ordered this attack or we're gonna have many other attacks are gonna come against people that dare to draw the Prophet Muhammad and celebrate it in, in you know, a public venue like this. I, I was like, well, 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 for starters, I don't think ISIS ordered these guys because frankly, you know, there's going to be terrorist attacks like this, whether ISIS motivates people to seek out retribution against the evil people that draw the Prophet Muhammad. And I don't know, I just... It just makes me wonder, like, how desperate is ISIS to claim fear or take hold of fear and attention that they would claim something that, as far as an attack goes, like I said, was just completely and utterly embarrassing. Like, to get stopped in your tracks that swiftly and decisively by one cop with a handgun. I, it just it just really reeks of desperation that they're going to go ahead and, and claim credit for something like this. And on top of that, an act like this, getting stopped, just reassures the American public more that those first responders in that first line of defense can stop an overwhelming threat because, like I said, the munitions and firepower that these two guys had were completely dwarfing what that one cop had there that day, and they both got shot and killed. Just how, how desperate is ISIS these days? Now, granted, I know they're going to carry out an attack that's going to do a lot more damage than just, you know, uh, shooting, putting bullet holes in a security outpost at a convention center somewhere. There's eventually going to be American lives and casualties that are taken again by an act of terrorism or anything like that. So I'm not saying like, oh, the cops, don't worry, America, the cops have this under control because something's eventually going to happen again. And delving on to the whole other side of this story in that this whole convention of you know, drawing the Prophet Muhammad and, and gathering at a public venue. Now, some people are criticizing this. Like, they, 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 they sound kind of like the people that say, like, you know, 
the girl got raped at the college frat party, but, you know, she was dressed like a whore, so she was asking for it. You know, there's people saying, like, well, these Islamists, these Islamic extremists wouldn't have came there to shoot and kill innocent Americans if they weren't blatantly doing something that offended the nation of Islam. So you see what I'm saying? Like, you know... The girl dressed in the short skirt at the drunken frat party with her tits sticking out is just asking to get raped, whereas the group drawing the Prophet Muhammad is antagonizing Islamic fundamentalists to come out and shoot their ass up. So, I don't know, just when I, when I hear people complain about that, I think of, like, you know, the people complaining about the girl just asked to be raped at the, at the frat party. But I look at it more as, you know, I myself wouldn't, particularly want to partake in something that is so overtly offensive to, you know, any singular, singular group, like the Nation of Islam, like any race or ethnicity, anything like that. But at the same time, I recognize that if a group wants to do that, you absolutely should, could, and have every damn right as in the, at least in the United States of America, to do that as you so choose. I don't care if a group of white extremists want to uh, gather in public on Martin Luther King Day and, like, burn pictures of Martin Luther King or something despicable as that. Like, yeah, it's going to antagonize uh, the races and anyone with a sound, rational, non-racist mind. But at the same time, they have every right to do that. They have every right to do that. It's one thing... If they're, you know, just randomly going in public and you're know, gathering in Harlem or something like that and antagonizing a fight. But, you know, if they're gathering in their own accord and there's, you know, police presence there or something. Whereas in this instance in Texas, they hired their own security. In fact, that venue wasn't even going to host it unless they put out $10,000 uh, of an investment to have additional security at, the, at that convention center. And, again... This whole thing of ISIS taking responsibility for this, of such a failed act of terrorism, is just mind-blowing. Because, again, I honestly don't think ISIS had anything to do with this. And it's just coming off as ISIS desperation that they came out in that radio broadcast yesterday and claimed responsibility for this. Like, what, like, like how stupid are they? Well, okay, that's a whole different issue. I don't know. I just, I was stunned. I was just honestly stunned that ISIS seriously came out and claimed responsibility for this. Because again, you know, something's going to happen in the future. Terrorism is going to continue to happen. And again, you don't need a terrorist act like this, an act of potential terrorism, to happen like this with the uh, behest on the, the behest of ISIS or them funding them with any sort of monies or munitions or anything like that. I don't know, it's just, it, and it's kind of scary in a way, too, that you're now seeing something like this happen in America. Because, you know, who knows? Why, I mean, who knows how bad it would have gotten and how much things would have changed if two gunmen went into that convention center and gunned everyone up at a, a, a Draw Muhammad convention. Again, you know, I, I, I understand that it blatantly offends People in the, as, as far as the world of Islam goes, most probably don't even give a shit, in all honesty. And it's just a few rogue people that are going to get to the level that they're going to take up arms with the intent to kill innocent people. I get all that. I'm not labeling the whole world of Islam, of course. Um, oh, but it, it is interesting because, like I said, one of these attempts are going to be very successful. And you do have to ask yourselves, you know, is it really worth it to hold conventions like these that are obviously antagonizing fundamental, excuse me, radical Islamists? Like, is it really worth taking that chance at this point? Because an act like this was bound to happen. It did happen. And we're only lucky now that a traffic cop foiled the, foiled the plot. I don't know. Just, just, just has me really thinking of things because that other shoe is bound to drop very soon. And we've been living in a, a very relatively 
secure world here, at least in America, from terrorism post 9-11. There's been not really anything too major that's happened on American turf right now. The rest of the world, that's a whole different story. Um, but it really, it really does put into perspective, and this really should be a wake-up call that something like this is bound to happen, no matter what hypervigilance there is out there, no matter how many security personnel we put at an event like this Draw Muhammad convention. I mean, again, you know, a part of me wants to say, all right, you know, just stop with little things like this that antagonize radical Islam. But at the same time, if a group wants to do an event like this, they absolutely should have every right to do it. Because according to my constitution, in my country that I live in, you're allowed to. Anyway, just my thoughts on this whole situation. And ISIS, I still don't understand why you're taking credit for such a failed attempt. Such a blatantly failed, embarrassing attempt. Anyways, they'll have their day in the sunlight with a more successful attempt. But oh, here's hoping it doesn't happen while I'm out in public. Oh boy, what a world we live in. Have a good day, everyone.